My face ain't gonna be in this video because I'm looking real crazy. This is all you get from here on up. But today, ah, no, my face not getting into no, my face is not getting into this video because this is what this is supposed to be about hair today. Me and this hair, or you'll see a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You got enough of me. You see, it's me. You see, it's me. Okay, you see the tattoos. It's me. Okay. Before we get into this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, I thought it like that. Uh, a big thumb. Do my thumb look white in the crease? A big thumbs up. And subscribe. And make sure you comment. Oh, wait, no, no. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. And leave a comment about what you want to see next week. Like, leave a comment about how you feel about this video. Or if you want more videos like this. But today, we're going to be customizing a 13 by 6, a 13 by 6, my bad, my 13 by 6 um, unit. You want to customize it, which is me, which like just means to bleach the knots and pluck the, uh, like the front of it and pull out baby hair. And then, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. It's going to be another video after this. That I'll show installing it. No, after this, I'm gonna post the video of me curling it, right? I'm gonna show you how I style wigs, and then after that, it'll be another video of me. Um, what did I just say? Of me? Oh my god, I can't think of nothing. Jesus, of me installing it. It's gonna be three parts of this video, so this is part one of the video. This is the process I go through. And this is how, this is why it be so much money, but I still don't even charge how much the money it be. But this is the process so you can see all the hard work I go through. Maybe you can learn on your own so you don't have to bother me. And I, oh. oh this is 150 density. You can see. I don't want to lift my arm up too high. I might jiggle. This is 150 density. Okay, see the bottom. The highest density is 180, but this is. This is one. This is the highest density, but I mean, 180 is the highest density, but it's 150 is like one below, and then it's 130. So this is like the middle one, and we got a. I don't know. She got a. This wig is my my mom's. It's not mine. So she got a 13 by six, which means the part just goes further back. If it was a 13 by four, it would stop like right here. So that means when it's on your head, it'll be like. I'm gonna show you. Try to show you. It was on. I can't. I got a. I got a thing. I, I, should I show y'all on the thing? I don't really feel like it or not, but if it was on your head, like you see how this was on your head, it will stop right there. Like you wouldn't see anything past it, but now it'll go all the way back here. Even though it's not part all the way back there, it goes all the way back there because you can tell from here. This it stops back here. If it wasn't, it'll stop here. That's not even how many more inches is there? I think the inches be just so off, but 13 by 4 it looks like it's too high up. The inches is not that big. But anyway, this is 13 by 6, it go all the way back to here. 13 by 4 go up to here so it just depends on what you want is the uh 13 by 6 funnels always well funnels in general always go ear to ear so it go all the way down to here so you can get your little spitties right here so yeah it'll come all the way down to here if you get uh i'm not gonna talk about that because who cares but you see how the hair is shorter on the side because that's where the spitties would be at so this one is kind of already pre-done but i'm gonna just customize it a little bit more because i know how i want to see it like it has some baby hairs on this one, if you can see, like, right? it's some baby hairs, not that many, but see how these is real short, like, that's some baby hair. Anyway, right now, we're just going to bleach the knots, because that's what you, that's the first step you should do, so all you do is turn the wig inside out, if you got, a uh, a wig head, like I do, but I don't like it up, you can put it on a wig head, but all you just got to make sure you do is get it on the whole, oh god. Make sure you get it on the whole lace, like all of this part, all of this part, and then stop where you get to the parts that is not lace. So that means go all over. 
you don't do. And so a question that some people may have is why I, if I'm only worried about the middle part, well, she only worried about the middle part. So why shouldn't I only bleach this part? Because I don't know. That's how people do. If it, it just looks more natural, all of it is done. If you might want to pull it out your face one day and then you'll see all these black these black dots over here so if they not so if you pull it out your face you'll see this it'll be more natural looking see how it's black dots right there behind my hair once i bleach it it won't have no black dots it'll look more you'll just only see my hand it just looks more natural for if you want to do other styles where, or if you, if you want to pull up your face if you don't want to pull up your face just do up and down do the part but at that point, you might as well get a closure. So, so after you die, I mean, all this lace and stuff gonna get cut off. But I make good nails so they can really get ready, not polite. Something to throw up on, show them what you get ready. All this, ready. all this gonna wind up getting cut off, so you don't have to put bleach all the way up there. Just put bleach wherever the hairline starts. So, I would put bleach. Cause can y'all really see? It? I don't know if y'all can really see it, but I would only put bleach starting here. See how the hairline? Can you kind of see it? I don't know if you really can see it, but I will only put bleach starting around here. Yeah, just where the hair starts, because anything, because other stuff gonna get cut off, so it doesn't even. Anyway, y'all already know. I don't know if I ever posted on here with doing bleach your hair, but you always gonna need BW2. They come in packs or jars, and then you're gonna need. And then you're gonna need. Clear oil is the activator. You, they come in, I believe, I, I believe the lowest is 10, it might be 20, but it goes 20, 30, 40, 50. I never see this in 50. People say you shouldn't use 50. It's not clear oil. I've never seen this brand in particular in 50. I've seen another brand in 50, but I always use 40 because the higher the number is, the more it'll lift up the color. So, yeah. Um. I mean, I guess it don't really matter the color for this because it's just a knot, but it's just, I, that's the activator I have because as you see, I bleached this and I needed it to be light. So now you just get a little a little dye cup and a brush that you can get from a hair store. I got from my hair store. And you go get your bleach. Wait. You gotta put some gloves on because it is chemicals, guys. Safety first. How you do that snapping sound? Get you can get it's different type of girls you can get you can get black or whatever. I like to get black because I'll be seeing people wear it in movies when they do a hair. So this is what I use to be fancy. Yeah, I like black, so it looks nice. He's all also my seafood boy gloves. So I will move the hair out the way because the crumbs is gonna spill out when I use the bleach. So you get the bleach. When you get the bleach in the container, it come with a little scoop for you. The big one like this come with this scoop. The little smaller one comes with this scoop. It's a little bit different in size. Just because you got to dip deeper for that one. But for right now, it's because there's not that much bleach in here. So anyway, you get, I'm, I'm going to say two of them. Because it needs, for this, if you was the bleach regular here, you need it to be thin so you can spread it out and not use as much bleach. But for this, you're going to need um, it to be thick so it don't drip to the other side of here and bleach the hair. Sometimes it do, if it do, then you can just get some dye and bleach it back. I mean, dye it back to the color it is. If you don't care, then you don't care. But you need this to be thick so in this case you wouldn't need as much activator because you don't want it to the 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 point is is that you don't want it to come through so you have the, consistency to be thick. the consistency needs to be thick but not too thick that it's just dry it still needs to be kind of moist see how look at here it's stiff when i throw it over it gets stuck in that position so that's how it should be get some of the bleach right and then just start packing it on. You can see through the lace. You can see that I'm what I'm doing because you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So you just pat it on like this. Just pat it on. See how if you tap it, 
it would come off. I mean, we got a good consistency. You gotta tap it like this. Some flew over there on a little thing. Yeah, this is just purposely for the knots and not how to bleach the hair. So see how it's right down the part? So that's what we need it to be. So what you do? You put it down the part first? Yeah, down the middle first. And then the whole thing is done. And what time is it? It'll six, so at like eight ten, we'll take it out. So that'll be like five minutes from now. It's actually eight or five. At eight ten, we'll take it out. It'll be five minutes from now. And I don't like taking it upstairs. So all I'm gonna do, is, I'm just gonna wash it in condition. No, I'm gonna wash it out with condition with shampoo conditioner. These are the two I use. I use only. I only use the Organ X. It's OGX basically, but it's called Organ X. I use the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner. It's the Ever Straightener Brazilian Keratin Therapy, or I use the red one, which is the um, anti breakage with Keratin Therapy in it. It's so either the red one or the gold one. They both say Keratin Therapy. One is for straightening, one is for anti breakage. So this one will be better for weave. The other one would be better for your real hair because it's for because it leaves the out because leaves don't be breaking off like your real hair. But anyway, I'm gonna just sit in five minutes and then I'll be back. <laughs> what you're going to need for when you're done washing hair or frontals is a detangler brush. You can get it from a hair store. This is the brand I got. Evolve. It's kind of wet. Okay, let's see. So y'all get the first look. You look good, guys. I think it looks pretty good, guys. Did nothing get through. Did nothing see through. Okay, so let's do the check, the ultimate check. With the flashlights. So. Okay, so it's good. We did good. We did good. It's no blind hairs anywhere. We had a good consistency. We did good, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. You see how it really looks now? to pluck the hair you gotta get yourself a pair of tweezers some people get angled tweezers i just get these tweezers it bonds are angled actually so i guess get angled tweezers so how to add angles out of the so you get the head hold it between your legs hold it to your side grab a piece of the lace down so we're gonna start right here the hair is still wet and you need it to be wet or for Oh, I don't know what I did. You need the hair to be wet so when you pluck it, you don't make holes in the lace, okay? So, you turn the head this way. Pull the lace like that. Hold the cute, the cute tips. Hold the tweezers this way. Like, point inside. Go that way. Right. I will start down here. See, now this is the piece that is the sideburn piece. I told you about. See how it's short? So, I'm going to pluck behind that. And you post on, I don't know how to explain it, like I told you, people have never explained it properly to me. So you just pluck wherever you think you need to pluck it. You know how natural hair looks, so just pluck where you would think it, would, it needs to look natural at. And then you just go throughout the hair and part it where you think you need. Because you know, hairline isn't straight, but as you see this hairline, this straight, it goes in a wiggle. This is the line of the hairline right now. It's going like this. So you just pluck 
where you want it to be because it shouldn't be like that full around there. Here is it always like that. It's looking spacious somewhere, and over here it's just like all one line. See, all one line, spacious. This is pretty much the hair I got. I didn't pluck too much because it was already a little bit pre plucked. I just plucked where I want it to be at. So, this is how much I hear I got out of it. I'm trying to hold on so you can really see it. This is about how much I plucked. And this is how it's looking. Can y'all see it? Like more once I get it on the actual person's head. This is just how I was looking for right now for the purpose of this video. And then on the next video, I'll come back and I will curl it and style it basically. Okay, so if you want to see me style this wig, yeah. Do you want to see me style this wig? Yeah, yeah, okay. But if you want to see me style this wig, stay tuned for the next video, okay? So, before you leave out of here, don't forget to like the video if you didn't already do it in the beginning. Like the video, subscribe, turn on my notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. Leave a comment about how you think I did or if you have any questions about what I did. So, we'll see you on the next video, okay? So, let's try to get this right and leave out. Okay. Bye, y'all.